Hello guys, it's John here. Here we do another Bottleman unboxing. This time we have Kokoriwo G, and that is very zoomed in. Anyway, Kokoriwo G, our first uh, multi-type for God Camp. You can see all of the different types there uh, with the different modes and stuff. There's the, the, the small um, extra piece with the kind of mini caps and stuff. Um, yeah, this thing is looking very interesting. And on the back, there's actually this uh, cool like graphic up here. Where it shows like the bottle man lineup so far, which is roll well, for for, for uh, God Cap anyway, which is really cool. But yeah, you can see all of the attachments and stuff that there are. Very cool looking overall. Um, very very excited to, to get into this thing. So uh, yeah. Anyway, Let's see there is some tape that I did not cut, but uh, go ahead and get that really quick, relatively quick, I mean, kind of, but anyway, let's open this thing up and see what is inside, there's a lot of stuff I'm assuming, yeah, okay, so first up we can see, looks like a lot of the attachments and stuff, it's like the arms, I think some barrel or magazine parts there, I think barrel, this looks more like the magazine, I think, so there's some stuff there, we got more attachment stuff it looks like okay here's like the armor parts and then there's the core trigger hold parts all that stuff and there are the four caps the three mini caps the cap for the head and the instruction sheet um, very scared to turn this over. Oh, the stickers aren't too bad for this. I mean, there's a lot of them, but there's like a ton of parts in here. So I was kind of expecting a lot. 26 for all of this really isn't too bad. So, okay, that's, that's actually fine. But yeah, there's everything. That, that's actually a lot of stuff in that box. So anyway, that is everything for Coco Rio G. So I'm going to go ahead and get this built and stickered and everything, testing and stuff. That might take a little while, but anyway... I'll be right back. All right, so everything all figured out. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into this thing. Kokorio OG. This is a very interesting bottle, man. It is uh, something else. We're starting off with the kind of base form here, which just looks very normal. There isn't a whole lot to it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty normal bottle, man. Um, nothing too crazy. However, before we get into kind of the functions of this thing and kind of what it does, let's also take a look at everything else that comes in the set. So outside of Kokorio OG, uh, and uh, you obviously get a cap, but you don't just get one cap, you actually will get four caps. So that's actually pretty nice. Always nice to get some extra caps. <coughs> we also have the attachment. First up is kind of the mini cap shooter, just this very small piece. Um, kind of annoying to build, but once you do it, it's fine. So yeah, here it is. And alongside this, you get the unique cap for this bottle man, which is not its main cap, but it's of course kind of just these mini caps. And um, yeah, so just kind of looking at those three, and yes, you do get three of them. Uh, just a quick comparison as well from a regular cap to a normal cap. This is, did I say regular cap to a normal cap? Man, I, I need to sleep or something, but uh, yeah, a regular cap to a mini cap. That's what I meant. Um, okay, so yeah, it's much, much smaller. And outside of that stuff, you also will get different attachments, one per type. So first up, we have the control attachment, this barrel. Uh, this piece, you don't really need, and then this piece also gets swapped off onto some other stuff occasionally, so... But yeah, I mean, it's just a barrel. It's nothing too groundbreaking, honestly, but it's still pretty cool. I, I like the look of it. Um, so yeah. We also get a magazine. This magazine is weird because it kind of has this like, it's almost like a aqua sports magazine a little bit, not quite, but like kind of. And then this part just kind of adds on to it. When this part's on, which it, I mean, it should be, um, this is, gives you a four cap capacity, so three extra caps, although you cannot add 
extra uh, magazines on top of this. So it just kind of uh, has to be the only magazine you use, or if you have other magazines, this has to be the last one. Um, so there you go. That's kind of just that with this thing. But yeah, it's pretty cool still. So nice to have a magazine. And lastly, we have the power gimmick, which are these like cannon arms. They are wild. Um, so these are separate. Like, you can separate these if you want. I just have them together for right now. But um, actually, I'll just probably just separate them just because. But yeah, this is kind of a just a bridge piece, effectively. Nothing crazy. But yeah, these are just arm parts. So if you use these, you do have to swap off the arms of um, Kokuri OG. But uh, yeah, so these are very similar to Kolomaru Energy DX's arms. I almost feel like these were supposed to be like a Kolomaru G piece or something with how they look, but apparently they're not. Who knows, maybe Kolomaru G got scrapped and they just threw it in here. That's kind of an outlandish theory, but hey, you never know. But uh, yeah. So that's everything that comes in the set. Let's go ahead and talk about how everything works and what everything does exactly. So anyway, first up, base Kokoriwo G. What does this thing do? So, it doesn't have a whole lot going on. I mean, you can throw a cap in there, you can shoot it if you want. Um, you have power type hold parts, that is worth noting, so you can press in on these parts if you want to. Uh, the hands, so you do have kind of a emblem charge, just kind of a charge shot, whatever you want to call it, uh, right there with that. <clears throat> which is pretty nice. Also, um, you have some stability stuff here. Uh, you have the legs, they have these big pieces that come out, which are very nice. You have the arms, which work nicely as a grip, and also this horn. Uh, not the best for a sight, but it is still something to help you line up your shot, so... You do get some stuff out of this thing. And probably the best thing I can mention about this thing in base form before we get to everything else. Uh, so okay. I've mentioned before with Godcap, I have a lot of complaints about Godcap, because they switched factories from Vietnam to China. Unfortunately, the Chinese factory that they use just doesn't make the molds well enough. Um, one of my biggest complaints has just sort of been this crunchy feeling and this feeling of, like, too much tension in each shot. This thing, it still has that problem, but it's actually not as bad. There's still a bit of crunch on shooting, but the resistance problem, in my opinion, is not nearly as bad. Like, I can just probably shoot this thing with one hand, and that cap just went flying. But, uh, if you can kind of hear that, though, there is resistance, and I, I, mean, that, I mean, there should be, but still. There's a little bit of extra resistance, and there's a bit of crunch that you could probably hear, but it's not as bad. I don't think it's quite DX level at all. I would say it's somewhere in the middle of previous Godcap releases and DX. It's not perfect, it's not great, but it's a step in the right direction. I don't know if I just got lucky with my mold for some reason, or maybe this is like a one-off thing that they just happened to do, but regardless, this thing does feel better than the previous releases, so... For now, let's just hope that this is a sign that they are um, realizing that the previous molds were garbage and hopefully means that they will fix things to some extent. If this is the best we get, it's still an improvement, so hopefully it's something. I, I can't say it's perfect, but like again, I will take anything that's better than the previous releases because those were just atrocious with how those uh, worked, so it's something better. Now, with the attachments, though, um, there is more to talk about, of course, and there's different kind of modes you could do. There's, you know, control and speed. I will be using the barrel with the uh, mini cap uh, launcher and the control mode and, and um, speed modes, both of them with the uh, mini cap, because they actually both have different sort of variations. Um, I think that was too long of an explanation, but whatever. Um, yeah, you basically orient the mini cap launcher in different ways, depending on if you're using it in speed or control mode. So, we'll do that. And then the last mode, uh, the third mode, or I guess fourth mode if you want to count the base mode here, but um, that's just the power uh, gimmick, just the cannon arms, which are uh, interesting. They don't allow you to use the... Um, 
the the mini cap launcher unfortunately but yeah it's uh pretty cool looking and then also i will i guess i'll also show like the the kind of perfect mode which again doesn't allow you to use the mini cap launcher but you can use everything else so let's go ahead and mess with some attachments okay so first up we'll start with the speed version here's what it looks like and i will say in official advertisements and like promotional work this is usually on the other side however for me um, I'm left-handed, so I shoot the main bottle now with my right hand, and then it lets me shoot this one with my, um, right hand, which just feels better to me. But, uh, anyway, so, you can see this thing, it just has the holes here, two of them, this just slots into those nicely, and, yeah, it just works, which is nice. And with kind of the extra support on the feet, this means that, um this doesn't really disrupt the like balance of the thing. It just stays up fine, which is great. Um, you don't have to worry about this thing falling over. Uh, even with a magazine in the back, it still works fine. So that's pretty cool actually. So with this, uh, with this thing on there, it just kind of gives you an extra thing to shoot. And then the magazine is just a magazine. <coughs> like I said, four cap capacity. So let's see how that works. Does it actually work properly? Yes, the, there's no Aquasports problem, which is great. These all fit nicely into the magazine, as they should. This thing also gets a three cap capacity. Putting these all in. And again, this fits pretty nicely in. <coughs> the first time I used it, I did have, um, well, when I, first used the, the this thing on here. I didn't actually shoot it, but I was shooting the main one, and uh, this cap actually flew out the first time. Didn't have that problem afterwards, but just be careful of that. Um, just something to keep in mind, at least, because, again, that could happen. But I don't think it's common. I think I might have just screwed up my shot, honestly, but still, I was just shooting the thing, and it happened. So, it, again, it's possible that it could happen. So, wanted to mention that... Um, but it still seems reliable enough, and, uh, yeah, you get seven shots here, basically, kind of, but, um, I recommend alternating, starting with this one, moving to this one, going back and forth, and, yeah, it'll get you seven shots. Now, you might wonder, what is the point of this thing? Um, the mini caps are tiny. What do they even do? And I thought they were going to be absolutely worthless. I thought it was going to be a joke of an attachment. However, they actually do work. Even from a decent range, I was still able to knock down targets. I used the targets from Random Collection Volume 3. I still knocked them down with the mini caps. So they're not the best, but they have enough power to do that, which is honestly kind of impressive. I didn't expect that at all. This thing also shoots pretty well, I would say. It doesn't really have the god cap problem too bad, so... Yeah, this thing kind of just works. It's actually a useful attachment, I would say. Not, like, godlike, but it's still, like, nice to have. I mean, if you have these arms available, like, why not throw it on there, you know? Um, so, yeah, I would say the speed form actually is pretty good. Because it's just like the normal one, but you get three extra caps in the main bottle man, and you have this nice little attachment that just helps you out. So, yeah, pretty good overall. Uh, and yes, you do take the dragon head from the barrel and put it on here. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but yeah. So overall, the speed form, I would say, is really good, actually. I, I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. So let's go ahead and move on to the control mode. All right, so control mode. Before I say anything, I have to say that this does look really cool. I like the dragon barrel here. I like this... Um, thing going on with the mini cap launcher it just looks really cool so yeah i guess i will say how do you get to this state from what it was before so first up you take off this piece just kind of comes off uh, on the shoulder take the dragon head off of this thing it's pretty easy to do um turn the sideways on the bottom where you attach to here there's ports on the side of the arm there which they attach into. This piece just came off, so I guess I can show you where that attaches, but um, yeah, once it's there, this part uh, underneath, there's this gray piece on the edge here. 
so the shorter one, and that's where this attaches into. Kind of hard to get to stay. If you press it on hard enough, it should probably stay. And then this part, um, on both sides, there's something that opens up, and yeah, you can open it up. Um, so, yes, this thing, in my opinion, looks very, very cool. <coughs> now, is it good? So the barrel, I guess you could say it very, very slightly decreases power, but outside of that, uh, it helps with control slightly, but it's not like a huge deal, honestly. I don't think the barrel is like that helpful. Like it's a little helpful, I guess, but it's nothing crazy, honestly. Um, kind of what you'd expect from a barrel, to be honest, but um, this thing is actually not good, unfortunately. Not in this mode, anyway. Um, there is a fatal flaw of this design here, and, um, I tried to see if there was anything I could do to, like, maybe it had, like, a mechanism to, to fix this, but there just wasn't, so the problem, so when you put a cap in here, if I could, uh, load properly, that'd be helpful, it might just fall in, you might be able to shoot, but sometimes it, it doesn't want to do it now, of course, because I'm trying to show the problem with it, but, um, there we go. It kind of did it, but basically the problem is this part is exposed. I was trying to get it to fall through. Just There we go. It fell through. So basically, it wasn't doing as much right now, but earlier I was having this problem a lot more where this thing, it was just, the cap would just fall out of here very quickly. It doesn't happen all of the time, but the fact that that can just happen, and also sometimes the cap just gets caught a little bit, so it kind of shoots a little awkwardly. That's a big problem. Unfortunately, this mode is not great. I think the speed mode was significantly better. Yeah, this thing just doesn't like to stay on either. So unfortunate. But, um... Yeah, the speed mode, you just get more capacity. I think that's much more worthwhile than the barrel. Although you can actually use the magazine and barrel and the small, like, in the, in the minicap shooter at the same time. All three of the attachments at once. But, I guess you use the, again, magazine and barrel just fine at the same time. However, this thing should always be in the speed uh, mode. It should never be in this control mode. It doesn't work well. Also, you just get less capacity. Yes, it does shoot vertically and closer, which is nice. But I will, I'd, I'd much rather take a three cap capacity opposed to one. Especially when it's more consistent. Also, this is a very small hole right here. It's much harder to load your caps into this, opposed to kind of this uh, little bit larger uh, rectangle. And yeah, this thing's just not working. The cap fell out the side, this thing falls off. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, next up we have the power mode, which is this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to say I don't know what happened with the color scheme here. This thing just looks very strange. Um, again, maybe I was onto something with saying that these are Colomar G parts, but got cancelled and they just threw it in here. Because I don't know why they would have made these so awkwardly colored, honestly. I don't know what happened here. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very weird bottle man, for sure. Um... So how are these parts? Honestly, they're good. They increase the power of this thing. I don't think they do it, like, to a crazy degree, at least not what I was expecting. But they definitely increase the power, although they do increase tension, and because of how Godcat molds are, it does feel a bit worse to shoot, but it's not, again, it's not terrible. But yeah, uh, overall, feels worse to shoot, I would say, by a bit, and then also you just get more power out of it, which is nice. Um... Although, one complaint I do have here is, um, if you want to press on the hands to get even more power, what, how are you supposed to do that? Like, it's, it's such an awkward thing. Like, I have large hands, and even I'm like, how do I hold this thing? Like, I can't go like this underneath, because the hands are too far inward. Like, unless you want to hold it like this, like, underneath entirely, but then it's like, that just feels awful. Like, am I, what, what, what kind of hand signs do I need to make? Like, this... Like, like, am I supposed to go like this or something? Like, this just does not... 
Well, I can't hold, I can't press the hands to increase tension further for more power, um, without doing, like, the most uncomfortable thing imaginable, so, yeah. I get that these are supposed to kind of increase the tension on their own, but you could still increase it further, like, by pressing if you want to. Same can be said for, you know, Colomar Energy DX's arms, so I don't really know what happened here. It just feels very awkward, in my opinion. Um... So I do like this piece. It is, I mean, well, these arms. It's nice. But it just, again, it's just typical God Cap stuff, you know? You just can't have everything work nicely. There has to be some oddity because, of course, that just has to happen. So, <coughs> again, these are good. But for some reason, they're just not as good as they could have been. So, there you go. So, with that said, uh, I think that the speed mode is definitely the best here. Then, above that, I would probably say the power mode's pretty good. I mean, again, issues aside, it's still good. And the control mode, which isn't really worth using. It's, like, only a little better than the, like, normal base mode, honestly. However, let's do some mixing and matching. Let's go ahead and add some extra stuff. So, we'll do kind of the perfect mode with all three of the type-based attachments. And now we have sort of the perfect mode, which is this. I will just say this red piece that's kind of like a bridge between arms, just don't bother with it with the barrel there. It's, it's just not going to stay. Um, but yeah, here is this uh, thing. It is kind of wild looking. You got all of this going on. The magazine, the barrel, the power arms. Maybe this is why the power arms aren't as strong as I thought. Don't get me wrong, they're still plenty strong. It's just I was like, huh, I thought they'd be maybe a little bit stronger, but not by much, but still. But yeah, I guess you do get a uh, four cap capacity here, plus the barrel for a little bit of extra help. <coughs> yeah, this thing is uh, pretty strong, honestly. Uh, this thing, it, it definitely feels pretty insane to use. feels like a very powerful multi-type, for sure. Um... And yeah, also an extra thing I want to mention, another quality control problem, this horn. I noticed it a lot when I was trying to like change stuff around and just do some more test shots between clips. But yeah, this horn uh, definitely likes to come off pretty easily. I noticed it a few times. It also just has a lot of trouble. That cab just went flying. Anyway, um, it has a lot of trouble just staying on, so... Yeah, and I, I just tried to put it in the wrong way. Okay, nice. Uh, anyway, there we go. But, yeah, this thing overall is just insane. Um, again, with an actual somewhat decent mold, having the power, the control, the speed, all in one, it definitely feels like a powerful bottle man. And something that I think is genuinely worth recommending, so... I'll just say right now, I think this is actually a really good bottle, man, so... Yeah, like, just... I mean, like, the speed form on its own was already good, but this is even better, so... There you go. I will say, though, because we are getting Bottle Phoenix G next month, which just uses the power type uh, hold parts... <coughs> not hold parts, uh, arms... I'm not gonna leave these on, so I'll just show you kind of the... the way I'm going to be personally displaying, uh... Kokuryu OG, which is something that I have not shown yet, and kind of the last thing that I do want to show. Alright, so, kind of my own version here of Kokuryu OG is this. It's very similar to the speed form, uh, just with the barrel, although I did keep the dragon head on here. This, I think, looks fine, honestly, so I don't mind that looking like that. Um, but yeah, I think this is personally my favorite mode. I think that the barrel magazine combo works nicely. And, of course, the minicap launcher on the right side, which I do prefer having it over there rather than the left side. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That is my own sort of version of this thing that I uh, like to use. So, anyway, that's basically Kokoriu OG. It is a very cool bottle man. A lot of stuff here. Again, the base bottle man's already kind of cool, but then you have three attachments. <coughs> well, kind of. I mean, two attachments, I guess. Barrel magazine. And the power uh, arms, I guess. So you have to swap those out. But still, 
you get the different things for each type, plus its own unique gimmick with the mini cap shooter, mini cap launcher, whatever you want to call it, um, right there, which is pretty nice. And again, this thing is surprisingly effective. I did not expect that. So, yeah, I guess just looking at this thing as a whole, everything you get here, you do get quite a bit. Um, so overall, do I recommend getting this thing? Uh, I would say yes, kind of. Um, I think overall it's a very fun bottle man to have. You get a, you just get a lot of stuff here. You get to do a lot of stuff. Um, my only real complaints are pretty much just like, I guess some of the stuff isn't as useful. Like I don't like that you have to swap out the arms to use the power type stuff. That kind of sucks. And then you don't get to use the, the mini cap shooter. So you can't use everything all at once, which I do find unfortunate. Uh, and also just like the, the control mode for this uh, thing it just sucks. Like again, unless if I somehow missed a way to block that off, but even then I would rather take the three cap capacity over just the one personally anyway. Um, but yeah, overall, I still think it's pretty good. The other complaint, though, is that this is 3,500 yen. That is kind of pricey for one bottle, man. I know you do get a lot of attachments and stuff here. There is a lot, but I think 3,000 yen would have been more fair. I think that 3,500, while yes, it's only a couple dollars, I do think that's kind of steep. And for that much for one bottle, man, I can understand why someone might want to skip out on this one. Are you missing out if you if you do skip this thing? I would probably say yes, but still, uh, it is pricey for sure. Overall, though, I think this is probably the best bottle man. Actually, not probably. This is the best God Cap bottle man so far, um, for sure. I mean, the other ones, I mean, Dragger kind of has a dumb gimmick. It, it's like cool, but and stupid, but kind of like in a fun way. But uh, still, not the best. I would say overall. Um. Samus and Deku Tiger are both pretty good, I would say, but um, I think this this is just better. It's just cooler as well. If nothing else, I think you'll have a fun time just messing around with this thing and all the different things it has. Um, and this thing, I think, is especially just a fun time to mess with. So, yeah, overall, I do like Okuribo G quite a bit. It's for sure the first God Cat bottle man that I do feel happy with. Um, I like the other ones too. It's just. I feel like the, the god cap issue with those is just so much worse. And with this one, it's not as bad. And while I usually have at least some complaints with like every release, like there, there's usually at least something like to be critical on. But um, with this one, I, I definitely like it for sure. And, and the critical stuff isn't nearly as bad, especially with the amount of stuff you get. Um, so yeah, I, I do like Okuryoji. Finally, a god cap bottle man that I don't have to just slander. So yeah, overall... Really cool bottle, man. It was a great time to, um, to test this one out. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully we get more bottle man releases. But, again, <coughs> I've mentioned this elsewhere, but I'm kind of not sure that we are going to get anything else. I know we're getting Bottle Phoenix G next month, but that's just kind of a recolor of this. And apparently we're not getting anything in September from what I know. Well, probably. That could always change. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about bottle man's future. Again, I kind of feel like these weren't meant to be in here because I think this feels very complete to me. You get the control and uh, speed gimmicks plus its own unique gimmick. I think you could have gotten by with just this and the power type old parts with the, the hand tier to kind of mark it as a power gimmick if you want one. I don't know. These feel very suspicious to me. I'm a little worried that Bottle Man might just be done. We might, th this could very well be the last unique Bottle Man. Hopefully, I'm just fear mongering and I'm wrong here. I I'm really hoping that's the case, but. Um, yeah, overall, though, it's at least a cool bottle, man. I, I at least had fun with it. And, uh, again, I do recommend checking this one out for sure. Although it is a bit of a steep uh, price. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's all for this video. And, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and bye bye